according to uh, reports and also our own reporting, um, we've, which was also highlighted during the CEDA uh, review, was that the Uyghur women in the Uyghur region are facing multiple um, challenges, such as uh, extrajudicial uh, detention in, in concentration camps. So we estimate around 3 million of uh, Uyghur and Turkic people. And of course, among these numbers, uh, in these numbers, there are also women who are in detention. Uh, beyond this, there is also um, coerced marriages of Uyghur women, between Uyghur women and uh, Han men, who um, are also in, uh, receiving incentives and subs uh, subsidies from the government to encourage these uh, ethnic uh, inter-ethnic marriages. Um, Uyghur women are also separated from their children who are taken to state-run boarding schools where you know they're um, eroded from uh, their um, linguistic rights, cultural, religious um, rights as well. Um, and then Uyghur women are also subjected to forced labor where they work in small factories uh, to produce you know, garment or other uh, other products and produce. Um, Uyghur women are also um, discriminated in daily life, and most importantly, they're forcibly sterilized. I think this is really a grave concern that we have: is the forced sterilization that started in in the in the recent years uh, with this um, ongoing campaign that the Chinese government has been carrying, and also the violence, uh, physical and mental violence that they are facing inside these camps, according to witness testimonies.